All right, here's an update to the USB on the go using the Kindle Fire running CM9 and hash codes kernel. Before we got it working using a wireless mouse and keyboard, same one here uh, is still working. Uh, but now I'm working on getting a nice portable uh, USB hub, self powered, uh, that way you don't have to plug into a computer or an AC adapter. And so here's what we got. I'm using this uh, little, I believe it's pronounced newer, USB battery charger I got from Amazon for like 350 and the link will be in the description for all these things. Um, this is just simple, a simple uh, 2 AA battery USB charger connected to the USB Y cable. So we got that plug going in there. That is going into the host cable there. And then the other end is connected to this hub. Uh, and there you can see the wireless adapter that connects the mouse and keyboard. Um, so flash drives also work in this, and I'll show you that real quick here. Here's the flash drive connected to my laptop. Let's we'll look on this real quick. See, there's the file on there. It's that ROM there. So we'll go ahead and plug it in to the hub. Show you how well it's working. I'll we'll see in the background. It's probably gonna kick on something here. You can see the lights are blinking. So I have stick mount set to automatically run, so we probably missed it there. But we'll go ahead and launch it anyways. So we can see what it does. So there's stick mount. I'm going to mount it real quick. It's going to adjust the settings. You can see there it's mounted there. So we'll go check that out. Have it set to SD card, then USB storage. So there's the folder. And if we click on that, we we'll, should see the ROM file. And you can also see it was a 16 gig uh, flash drive. You see it's showing the free space there. Uh, and this works uh, pretty well. It's a little inconsistent. Sometimes you may have to restart before it picks up the hub. Um, but for the most part it's been running pretty smooth. My biggest complaint is that it does drain the batteries uh, pretty quickly. I think it may be that it's uh, also sometimes it charges the Kindle while it's plugged in. Um, not a big deal, you know, if you can rotate out four or six rechargeable batteries, you should be able to, to last a while. I had two plugged in most of the day today. It's now five o'clock. I probably had them plugged in since about nine, and uh, it has worked throughout the entire day. This is running with fresh new batteries. Um, as you can see, one of the best way to test it is if that LED flashlight comes on. It's kind of useless. It's not very bright, but... It does give you an indication of how well the battery is doing. Overall, uh, I'm very pleased with this. It's a small format. Eventually, I'd like to see if I can build a little case for it, kind of like an Altoids 10 type thing. Um, but it does work uh, extremely well. It doesn't work that great, however, not using the hub. If you just plug the flash drive into the female end, um, it shows up in USB host controller, but it does not, it will not, it's not able to mount. It doesn't show it as a storage device. Uh, that's something I'll keep tweaking with, seeing if we can get it working. But for now, I definitely recommend picking up a little non-powered USB hub and a, a battery charger if you're looking for portable USB action. Let me know if you have any questions.